And welcome back to Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel. I'm now answering a question number eight from the January 2022 International A Level Pure Mathematics P4 paper. Uh, the question is about vectors. With respect to a fixed origin O, the points A and B have the position vectors as shown respectively. The line L1 passes through these two points A and B. Write down an equation for line for L1. Okay, so now. The equation of a straight line in terms of vectors is given by a point which is on the line and its position vector in respect to the origin. So say you have a line that's going like this and say this is the origin. For me to write down the position vector of uh, or to write down the equation of the line, I need to have a point on the line, okay, or I need to know the position vector of a point of a line, which means, what does the position vector mean? It means its position in respect to the origin. So here we have the position vector of two points, um, A and B. So basically what this is saying is the vector from O to A is 6, 6, 2, and the vector from O to B is 6, 0, Seven. So let's say this is a point A. Then what we know is the vector from O to A is 6, 6, 2. And let's say this is a point B. Then we also know that the vector from O to B, so this is from O to A and this is from O to B, is 6, 0, 7. Now, to find the vector equation of the line L, I need to have the position vector of a point of the line. So I could use the position vector of A, or I could use the position vector of B. It doesn't matter. Any point on the line in relation to the origin. How to get to the line from the origin. And I also need to know the direction that the line is going in. So I need to know, for example, the vector from A to B, or B to A, or any direction which is parallel to that could be twice B to A, half of B to A, a quarter of B to A, or A to B, whatever, as long as it's going along parallel to this line. So the position vector of a point on the line takes me to the line, and the direction vector, which is parallel to the line, line will take me along the line, and therefore I'll have the vector equation of this line. So what I'm going to do here in this question is I'm going to find what the vector from A to B is. I could have easily found what B to A is either, you know, as well. It doesn't make any difference. It still will be, um, you know, the direction of the line, whether it's going this way or that way, as long as it's parallel to that line. So the vector A to B, now if I want to go from A to B, I've got to go from A to O and then from O to B. So it's like a minus OA plus OB. So we can say OB minus OA. It's an easy way to think about it. So I'm going to take the vector B, which is 6, 0, 7, minus OA, which is 6, 6, 2. And that will give me the vector from A to B. So 6 minus 6 is 0. 0 minus 6 is negative 6. And 7 neg minus 2 is, is 5. So that's a vector from A to B. So the equation of our line, line L1 is being going to be given as r equals p. Now, I can choose either of these two vectors, o to b or o to a. Let's just choose o to a. So, 6, 6, 2, plus, the will just use the parameter lambda, times the direction vector, which is 0, negative 6, 5. As I said, this could also be 0, 6, negative 5, or any multiple of those. So, this is the vector equation of the line L1, 662 takes us from O to this point here, A, and then lambda is a scalar, like for example, uh, 0 minus 6, 5, when lambda is 1, it was, it's going to take us to B, okay, because it's going to be um, the vector from A to B is 0 minus 6, 5, so it's going to take us from A to B. If lambda is minus 1, it will take us in the opposite direction to a point which is the same distance from B but the other side. If lambda is 1.5, it will go a to B, then a half of that distance as well. So one and a half of that distance. So the lambda takes us along the lambda times the direction vector takes us along the line, depending on how big lambda is. But 662, the position vector takes us to the line. So that's the position vector, or that's the equation, the vector equation for the line L1.
All right, that's part A done. Now for part B. It says the line L2 has this equation um, where mu is a scalar parameter. Show that line 1 and line 2 do not meet. All right, so here's the equation of line 1 and here's the equation of line 2. And we've got to show that they do not meet. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to first say if they did meet, if they did meet, then we would have the following situation that there would be a value of lambda and mu for which this would be true 662 plus lambda times 0 minus 65 would be the same value as 314 plus mu times 159. Now, if they did meet, then there'll be a lambda value and mu value, which will make both of them have the same position vector, right? If they don't meet, then you won't be able to find a lambda and mu value, which will make this equation true. So what we can do is we can set up um, three equations, one for the i components, one for the j components, one for the k components, and show that there's no value of lambda or mu, which makes all of them the same. So let's try for the i components. You're going to have 6 plus 0 lambda, um, so that's 0, is equal to 3 plus mu. Okay, and if we look at the j components, we'll have 6 minus 6 lambda, 6 minus 6 lambda, is equal to 1 plus 5 mu. And the k components will have 2 plus 5 lambda, is equal to 4 plus 9 mu. Now, this is from this first equation, we can say mu is equal to 6 minus 3, which is 3. Okay, and from the second equation, we can say 6 minus 6 lambda is equal to 1 plus 5 times 3. So you're going to have 6 minus 6 lambda is equal to 1 plus, 1 plus 15, which is 16. Okay. So we can say minus 10 is equal to 6 lambda. Therefore, lambda is equal to minus 5 over 3. Lambda is equal to minus 5 over 3 if you divide both sides by 6. Now, if mu equals 3 and lambda equals minus 5 over 3 satisfies this equation, makes both sides the same, then they meet. Okay? If they don't, then they don't meet. So let's let's put this into equation three. You have two plus five times minus five over three. Okay, this is the left hand side, or that you can say, yeah, this is the left hand side of this equation, which is equal to two minus ten over minus twenty five over three, sorry. Two minus twenty five over three, which is that's going to give you um, 6 over 3 minus 25 over 3, which is minus 19 over 3. And the right-hand side of this equation, you're going to have 4 plus 9 times mu, which is 3, which of course is not the same as that. That's going to be 4 plus 27 equals 31. So we can say that the left-hand side, so for equation 3, for equation 3 here, this is equation 1, two and three in equation three okay the left hand side is not equal to the right hand side therefore they do not they don't meet okay because this, the value of lambda and mu that we find should make all three of those components be the same okay as you can see, they don't. If I put mu as 3 and lambda as minus 5 over 3, it doesn't make them go to the same place. So therefore, they don't meet. Okay, so there's the answer to question um, number 8, part B. Now we're going to go to part C. It says the point C is on line 2, where mu equals minus 1. Find the acute angle between AC and line 2 okay so this is the point this is OA this is the position vector of A and the point C is on line 2 we have the equation of line 2 
and the acute angle between AC and line 2 is what we have to find. Okay, so first of all, let's find the what the point C is. Let's find the position vector of C. O to C is when mu is equal to minus 1. So that's going to be 3, 1, 4, minus 1 times 1, 5, 9. That's going to be 3 minus 1, which is 2, 1 minus 5, which is negative 4, and 4 minus 9, which is negative 5. So that's the point O to C. So C is on line 2. Okay, so you got your line 2. And you got C on the line. Now, A is the point 662. Say this is the point A. Okay, so and say this is the origin. So what we just found now is a position vector of C. And we know the position vector of A. All right, so this is the point C, which has a position vector 2 minus 4 minus, minus 5. And the position vector of A is 6, 6, 2. Okay, now we got to find the acute angle between AC and line 2. So we need to find the angle between the line AC and the line 2. So we need to find this angle over here. That's what we need to find. So, of course, to find the angle, I need to know the direction of A to C. So we can say A to C. Okay, if we think about it, A to C, if that's the origin, A to C is um, A to O plus O to C, which is minus OA plus OC, which is the same as OC minus OA. So O to C is the vector 2 minus 4 minus 5, and take away O to A, which is 6, 6, and 2. So when you subtract them, you're going to get 2 minus 6, which is negative 4, minus 4 minus 6, which is negative 10, and negative 5, negative 2, which is going to be negative 7. So you have negative 4, and you have negative 10, and negative 7. That is a vector from A to C. So that's this direction of this line A to C. We also have the direction of um, the line L2. Now the direction of the line L2 is given by this part of it here. Okay, that's the direction part. That's just the position vector of a point on the line. This tells us about the direction in which it's moving. So we need to use this vector, which is 159, as, long as, as well as A to C. So we know that there's a, an equation that the cosine of an angle, the cosine of the angle between two vectors is given by the dot product of those two vectors over the product of their magnitudes. So let's call vector A, let's call that the vector negative 4, negative 10, negative 7. And let's call the vector B the direction of line 2, which is 159. Okay, so we're going to find the, the angle between these two vectors. So we can say that the cosine of that angle between them is equal to first. Let's work, work out A dot B first. First, we're going to find A dot B, which is basically this vector times that vector the dot product, negative 4, negative 10. Make that a bit neater. Negative 4, negative 10, negative 7. Dot product with 1, 5, 9. So for the dot product, we just multiply these together. You get minus 4 plus minus 50 plus minus 63. Okay, so that's going to give us minus 4, minus 50, minus 63, which gives us minus 117. That's the dot product of A and B. Now we've got to find the magnitude of the vector A, which is going to be the square root of 4 squared, which is 16, plus 10 squared, which is 100, plus 7 squared, which is 49. So that's going to be 100, 100 plus 49, plus 16, which I think is 165, the square root of that, the square root of 165, and the magnitude of vector b is going to be the square root of 1 squared plus 5 squared plus 9 squared. Okay, so that gives you 
1 plus 25 plus 81 which gives you 107 that's the square root of 107 so now we can find the angle we can say that the cosine of the angle we're looking for is minus 117 over root 165 times root 107 so that means theta is going to be equal to inverse cosine of all of this so we have inverse cosine we're in degree mode of negative 117 over the square root of 165 times the square root of 107. Close that bracket. Whoops. Close that big bracket and put equals. That gives us 151.708. 151.708 dot 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 degrees. Now the question says find the acute angle between these these two so what we've just found is this angle here okay we just found this angle here we're looking for the acute angle the acute angle between them is going to be 180 minus that angle so we take the angle we found so we say the acute angle that we're looking for the acute angle is 180 minus theta which is 180 minus the last answer which is 28.291 28.291 degrees. Now, how do they tell us to round it? They said give your answer in degrees to one decimal place. So they specified one decimal place, so we write 28.3 degrees. There's the answer that we are, we're looking for. And that concludes this question, question number eight from this paper four, or from this uh, P4 paper from January 2022. Um, other questions from this paper can be found on the link that appears over here other questions from um, vectors in p4 can be found in the link over here and you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link thank you for watching and see you soon